Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I am Rebecca Markov and today I kind of want to delve into another game uh, based on trans harassment and this game is called Laundry Plus Plus and I kind of want to just give it a go and see what it would be like and kind of see if I can cover a few topics of a uh, potential discussion and what might be wrong, what might be right. I don't know what the game really fully entails um, but uh, apparently uh, there is a little trigger warning that it, you know it has trans harassment involved so if you are going to be upset about that then you probably don't want to watch this video uh, so yeah just a little word of warning just in case but yeah other than that really I'm just going to delve right into it and give it a go uh, see how it turns out because why not it's a uh, it's like one of those uh, pixel games I might also pop some music over it instead because it's quite repetitive uh, music um, but you'll get the idea I'll, I'll let it play for a little bit but um, here we go so uh, how do I do this can I oh there we go all right so ooh. go around and go see what this is over here for a start so can I I could just straight up you know hey there just a bit of warning there's some um, trans related harassment ahead music credit farewell princess by full boy media license information blah, blah. okay okay no problem there so yeah let's go and uh, go down I guess and see what happens okay so the game is called laundry so I'm guessing this is like a laundry uh, place right now. <gasps> oh, you removed your laundry. Sweet. Okay. What have you got to say? Hey, wh what you reading? Is that manga? Oh. Wait. Hey, what you reading? Is that manga? Oh. Okay. Just shuffling the laundry. Nothing to say. Nothing at all. Go on. You got something to say. Okay, fine. It's fine. It's okay. I didn't want to talk anyway. Hello there. Laundry shuffling. And I'm guessing that's just a clock. <coughs> it's 1 1 30 a.m. That's okay. That's crazy. Okay, I guess I've got my laundry, so I'm just going to go home, I guess. Hello, sir. <sighs> oh, okay, I've yeah, been touching the shoulder from behind. Oh, planned service changes: nights and weekends. No L train service at this station at the station until 2021. Service between Broadway Junction in Brooklyn and Eight Avenue in Manhattan is replaced by free shuttle bus service. Do, do I just wait here for the free? free shuffle, shuttle I mean it's 2022 now so surely I can uh okay so that's flashing over that hey you got a bit dark down here Ugh, can you tell me how to get to Meryl Broad eh? I cannot I am sorry sir ma'am I don't know what did I say I can't remember hi how about you over there I don't mean no offense or nothing but are you a Okay, let's cut off the music. Okay, first problem is is that you are not a transgender. You can be a transgender person, but being a transgender is not a thing. Do not say that. It is totally stupid. It is wrong, and you look like an idiot. But yeah, so no, I am not a transgender. Hello, sir. Lately, I've been feeling attracted to trans. Gender. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Is something wrong with me? No, there is nothing wrong with you except you got it wrong, but am I bad? <sighs> okay. What's wrong with me? What's wrong? What's wrong with loving a transgender person? What's wrong with, like, feeling, you know, some spark with a transgender person? Nothing wrong with that. We're just as much as human as anyone else. It's just, yeah, 
We went for a different journey, as all. Hey! Hey, you! Man. You're saying there's nothing wrong with me? Okay. Wow. Thank you. Say, so, what's your name? June? Thank you. You really helped me. You want to hang out sometime? Why not? You got a boyfriend or something? I mean, I, I just... Uh, are you the same guy? Are you a different guy? Are you the same guy? Like, if, if you got a problem with me, like, just because you have a, a feeling to, towards me doesn't mean that I am obligated to, you know, get with you. Hi. Look what you did to me, June. Pulls down his pants to show you his... Er okay. Look what you did! I don't know if he's angry or upset, but... Uh, angry or, like, just happy with himself, but... Okay, you don't do that! Oh. <laughs> um... Are these penises? There's a person over there, but I have to... Can I, can I, can I get round? Can I say hi? Do I have to go into every penis to work out which one I can get through? <laughs> There's something weird about this and... Oh wait! Can I go up here? No. Sir, I can't get to you. Sir! Ma'am? I don't know. Okay, I guess I'll go down this way. WTF? W... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Oh, eyes are looking. Okay, everybody's looking at me. Hey, hey you. Oh, I can't talk to you. Okay, I, I just... I have to follow the path. Oh, eyes are looking at me. Stop looking at me, everybody. Stop looking. I'm just gonna snake my way down the snake way here. Do -do -do -do. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, will Goku, sorry, will June get down to the end of Snake Way? Yeah, that's the end of the episode. What the fuck? What the fuck? There are actual, literal penises. I mean, look at the slinkies. They're slinkies, that's what they are. Oh, they're scissors. They're bendy scissors. Hey, how are you? Thank you for playing my little game about a shitty experience that happened to me. Oh, bless you. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. But I still got to get to the end of this snake way now. This guy literally chased after me after stalking me in the laundromat. Oh my god, that's so crap. At first, I thought he just needed some validation that he wasn't a pervert or something. But then, well, you saw what happened. Literally, somebody literally put down, pulled down their pants and shown you that, oh my god, that is horrific. Absolutely horrific. Shit like this is why I'm afraid to be in public spaces as a trans woman. The end. And there you go. Well, that was really cool. I really, I really like that. So, obviously it's a little short, but you're still telling your journey and stuff like that and that's fine that's exactly what happened and I'm really happy you actually shared your experience because it you know any information can provide educational value on how people can be and how you should be or how you shouldn't be um, yeah I really like that and thank you for sharing that that's really inspiring so after playing that game, I feel like this is an opportunity to share some of my own experiences with harassment. Also, do you like the hat? I love this hat. Um, 
I think I want more. I want more hats. I'm loving hats. But on the note of, of harassment um, regarding being transgender, I want to share my experiences um, with you because I feel like I guess it would be kind of informative to let people know what people can be like for being someone who you are, for being someone you can't help being. Um, and I feel like it also sets a little perspective of how it can be and I guess what you could expect, which is a very sad reality, but hopefully in a preparation of how people can be and how you can handle it and but I guess my main goal is to try and get the word out that people can be douchebags <laughs> and one of my experience I mean thankfully I haven't been harassed too much um mostly my har the harassment I've gone through has mostly been online and dating. I live in quite a quiet area and most of my transition was during the pandemic so really I haven't really had too much uh, interaction with people really um, and thankfully I guess uh, I have had it where people have said things behind my back um, I've, I've only known it a couple times now um, but it still happens. So with online dating, some of the harassment I have experienced oh, is usually that some people say they're interested in you, but they have never been with a transgender person before. And so they kind of just want to get a quick one in basically to test you out uh, to see if they like it. And it's very insulting because now you become this this idea to this person uh, as a guinea pig basically to be used for sex to see if somebody likes it. They want to sexually uh, use you to experiment and I think that's incredibly insulting because it shouldn't really be about that. If you are okay with the idea of being with a trans person then it shouldn't matter and I get that some people have a preference for genitals basically um fine I whatever but <laughs> at the end of the day we are trying to be who we are and it's not about our genitals it's about us being who we are so when you're trying to make it about that and trying to make it about how you will feel just doing that and like using us for for something as a means to just test out someone that's just objectification not very nice so if ever you're on, on the dating scene and you do come across a transgender person don't really make it about them being trans make make it about them being who they are make it about you know how interested you are into the same things as them compliment them make them feel good as well you no know, like i love a good compliment because it makes me feel better about myself but i think that goes for every well most gals anyway feeling good about themselves uh, when somebody else says it I have also been asked what my old name is uh, without kind of really any warning like oh don't take this offensively and I don't mean to sound offensive but what is your name? so what is your old name? It's like but that's irrelevant you don't need to know it's not relevant to me so I don't need to tell you <laughs> don't ask questions like that it's just yeah unnecessary like, what are you going to do with this information once you know it? What, what, what's your dead name? Okay, if I tell you, what, what will, what will you gain from this? Ah, I don't know. 
then you don't need to know, do you? <laughs> Anywho, um, I also want to just add on that I have been a bit slow with videos. I actually have made another video. Um, this is re going into the new series style that I want to go into very soon, and I have already made one. <laughs> Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing there, just like a brah was... <laughs> If you do want to see that video, it is on my Patreon, but it will be um, eventually released, but not until I kind of get more videos done uh, in uh, as the same sort of situation, basically, like a similar style. Um, I'm making a load of videos of just doing fun stuff and learning new things or being silly, um, but I don't want to publicise them yet because I want to get a string of videos prepared. But yes, the first video I've done is now up and running on Patreon, um, but it won't, it will eventually be publicised, so no worries there. I'm not trying to keep it from anyone, so it's not just as ex ex exclusive to uh, Patreon members. Also, I need to do a video on a self-reflection for last year. I still haven't done that and it is on my mind, don't worry. But it might be a bit late because, like I said, I'm trying to make more videos um, in, a, in a different sort of way um, and have more fun and kind of slowly move away from this... Um, I don't know, just talking about transgender topics because I don't want to be about transgender topics forever. I want to kind of just do what I want to do. I want to have fun. I want to learn things. I want to be silly. I want to do some acting. I want to play. I just want to be me for the sake of me. And as great as it has been to be doing topics like vlogs and stuff on transgender topics, because I always felt like I should give back to the community that once helped me. I think it shouldn't be a forever thing. I want to do what I want to do. Um, but doesn't mean to say that I won't touch on topics here and there. And if people have questions that they want me to answer, then I will do my absolute best. Um, but yeah, I, I am getting to that point where I feel like I need to just slowly move away from that. Um, and I did say that once I hit a thousand, that's what I want to kind of do. Um, and surprisingly, I don't know what's wrong with you all, but I I'm gaining uh, some more subscribers and I haven't posted a video for a couple of weeks. I apologize for that. But thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate every ounce of support that you give me and supporting me. I just said the same thing, but in reverse. <laughs> but seriously though, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. Um, yeah. Don't forget to send my thanks, ugly. Thanks, Jenna. Anyway, I've been Rebecca Markov, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.